What is up, my planting people? My name is Lithius and welcome to Roots Ready. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's gonna to be a really, really quick video on something I have been putting off for a long, long time, and that's repotting my Monstera Deliciosa behind me. Uh, it's growing quite rapidly now that spring has arrived. Um, and I think it's time to give the roots a bit of space to grow, to spread, and to hopefully promote some new growth, some bigger leaves that I'm really, really excited for. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned, keep watching, like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this type of content. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Cool, so here we go. Had to quickly throw some socks on because this is not what you guys are here to see. Um, but here is the Monstera. As you can see, it's growing very, very well so far. Uh, it's putting out several leaves at the moment. Uh, which i'm really really happy about but i think you can do better so today this mix that i'm going to make isn't my standard aeroid mix um it's going to be a lot more airy and the aim of this is to really prepare this plant to go into a life of pond because that is the ultimate goal i could very well just put it straight into pond and i think it would do just fine but i really want to just transition it over nice and slowly plus i am in love with this pot that was gifted to me recently and I really want to put it in here to show it off. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this plant out of this pot and I'm actually going to reuse this soil. So my standard aeroid soil mix is usually around even parts house plant um, soil, perlite and some wood bark as well. But as I said for today we'll be using something a little bit different uh, just to prepare this plant. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out. Let's get a look at these roots. Yeah, there you go. It was time indeed for a repot. This is not an exact science. Just take it out as well as you can and try to avoid damaging the roots. Now, today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bit of charcoal uh, that I've just taken from my barbecue. Uh, I've heard good reports about using um, this right here, which is some diatomaceous earth, and that's just to keep any nasties that might be in the soil at bay. Um, I'm just gonna put two tablespoons of that in there. Uh, and, I'm going to be adding a whole lot of moss in here, which will be the sort of main uh, addition to this. Should be all right. And then I'm going to add some perlite. This is the last of my perlite, so I'm due to get some more in very, very soon. Now, because this soil is going to be very, very airy, it does mean that I have to keep on top of my watering a lot more. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. So the thing about the moss is that it will decompose over time. My only criticism of moss is that it is a haven for fungus gnats, I must say. Speaking of fungus gnats, I've got some mosquito dunks here. Um, mosquito bits are probably uh, the easiest option, but I wasn't able to find them. So I've just been using some mosquito dunks. I'll just break off a little bit like so, and just break it off into the substrate, just like that. And as you water this plant, the uh, mosquito bits will get into it and do exactly what it needs to do. This stuff is a godsend when it comes to dealing with, with uh, fungus gnats. It is literally everything. Hi everybody. So I thought I'd quickly show you something else I'm gonna add to the pot, uh, which I didn't expect to do today, but I will, um, is I'm gonna add this steak in to the Monstera plant just to, make it look a little bit, you know, aesthetically pleasing and so on instead of the uh, bamboo steak I've got in there at the moment. So this 
was actually from a tree that I cut down recently in my garden and I, and I thought it's going to be make a really good addition at some point I've just never gotten around to it so I've kept it in a safe place um, and today I'm going to make sure I make use of it so what I'm doing right now is I've got it over a bonfire just to sterilize it a little bit because I noticed that there were some bugs and stuff uh, on the on the branch and I would hate for that to get into my <laughs> into my space the trick with this is that you need to make sure that you're using an open flame um, and that way you get that sort of lovely charred um, look to it um, as well as just ensuring that uh, it, it takes off all of the bugs and eggs and stuff that may be on the on the on the wood now there's an actually a Japanese technique that actually uses like um, flames to uh actually preserve wood because uh, it's used on a lot of fences and benches and stuff it's quite popular here in the uk um and this is where i sort of got inspiration from this uh just an open flame over some wood it will help to keep it for longer um from rotting from for longer uh and also doubles up as adding as being an amazing amazing disinfectant just to get rid of anything that you don't want in that wood I'm just going to carry on with this for another couple of minutes and then we're going to get it into the plant. Alright, so we've got the uh, the stake in here now. Just going to back fill around it just to make sure it's nice and secure in there and that it won't fall over. Happy with that. Make sure that the, uh, the plant can be secured to it. So I've got some tape. I'm going to secure the main stem or the thickest one that I've got to the stake like so. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> and there we have it, the final product. I think it looks fabulous if you ask me. I really like the way it looks. Real, giving you that real sort of jungle vibe with the natural aesthetic as a backdrop. I really do love it. Um, as you can see, I've got two of the plants staked up here. Uh, and I've got some uh, some of the smaller ones on like a regular bamboo stick down here. So when they get long enough, I'll then trellis them up this pole over here. But until then, I'm going to just leave them here, let them acclimate, let them get a little bit bigger before attaching them to the main stem back there. So I think this plant can stay in this planter for a little while actually, uh, before even thinking about changing it over. I really do love it, especially like the fact that there's still some room for it to grow. I can I imagine I can get a good couple of leaves out of this before needing to switch it over. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, yeah, the method I use is quite unorthodox for some, but I really do like it. I think it works really, really well. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is this something that you're thinking about doing? I would love to hear. I'd love to chat about it. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please do like and subscribe. And as always, keep planting.